are back once again to get you people excited with our actions and this time around we're going to go straight to knife actions random and multiple ways of defending yourself against a knife attack after then we're going to give a vivid explanation of each technique how it goes but first of all this is how the action goes with you but before i forget please our first timers do subscribe and hit the bell for our updates then leave your comment for us but for those that are already our subscribers we still give you thumbs up thank you now the first action about a knife attack is this knife attack will come in different directions in different ways but what you the person or the victim what you should know is do not think twice you think once one technique that comes to your mind you go with it straight and don't forget don't see the blade of the knife don't see the knife as anything fear kills you before you die so when you see, once you get rid of that fear of the knife you see it as nothing you are ready you are good to go so now let's assume he comes with um upward thrust we have different ways of uh, of adverting that or countering that we're going to take it as time permit us so come the upward um, counter now take upward thrust you strike in now striking in you go with this and you finish with the hand elbow there we take that again upward thrust go bam 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 Ay. there okay now still upward thrust we take one more counter on upward thrust go you go in boom and hey yeah simple as that okay now take a different thrust now let's say direct thrust now go hold on now from here from direct thrust you can decide to do different ways equally now take again you can decide to step back and watch the range before you now go this go go one and grab there and turn this in okay that's two or you can decide to do this go one here and then here and here okay all right now where do you, where does that kick goes to come again step one and then strike here why going here is so that you weaken the hand and tie and then here yes. all right now we take steel on direct thrust now direct thrust again go pop step to the side this one you have to be very smart and fast go pop here and then you go boom there pump and then you finish up here all right okay we've gone about three or four moves for direct strike okay now let's see side swing now take it let's see side swing you can decide to step back a bit go pop, and let it wave and step it all depends on what you want to do like i said plan not two times one time go step one in pop, hi. there now, one two you go okay you can decide not to allow it swing past go you step in stepping in up you strike here and then you go here and you go here okay now watch that again he comes go bam you step in strike here one strike here two and strike there all right okay now one more on swing now this time you go go you step in here and swing out and then finish it circular motion you take that again go you step one in pa. Pa. circular motion all right these are the various ways to avert or to counter knife attack okay as we as as as, as we have as we have seen the actions there they are very clear and clear which you must first of all know the principles for you to be able to stand it. Number one, I said it earlier, you must get rid of fear of what is called knife. Number two, you must be able, 
you, are, you must have the accurate knowledge, techniques that is required for weaponry. What do I mean by that? You must have a basic knowledge of weaponry, how weaponry goes, what it entails, and you, as a victim of that weapon attack, you must know that you do not have more than a second. There's no time to waste. You strike one. When you strike one, you know that you're striking one is one. For instance, example from, let's just do a recap of one of the strikes. Now, you come that upward strike again. Pam here. Now, this strike here alone is not just an ordinary block. It's a strike. Now, this strike goes with this. This strike, of course, it can't keep you standing anymore. If it is too hard, this might, might be the end of this person. Boom! Boom! And he goes. And you're off. That's in just a split second. You don't have time to waste. Okay, we're going to pause here for today. And um, I hope with this, you are able to follow up. Like I said, I remind you again, those techniques are not chess play techniques. They are hard techniques. So you have to be careful when you're practicing so that you don't injure the partner you're using to practice. Okay? For our first timers, I always like reminding you to subscribe, hit the bell, and leave your comment. Then our esteemed subscribers, we say thank you very much.